Hi guys, it's Miss Spada and my trusty sidekick, Hi. <laughs> Ava. Play Ava Play-Doh. Um, I was going <laughs> to keep going in our read aloud um, of Frindle. And yeah. if you remember last time, we had a lot of important events happen. Um, Judy Morgan created a newspaper article, which in turn caused a spiral effect. Uh, and some local businesses decided to sell uh, and make Frindle pens, uh, and the news got out about that. And then a TV news reporter uh, has done a news um, report on TV about uh, Nick and about the whole situation. Uh, the lady that was the news reporter, uh, her name was Alice Lunderson. So we're going to pick up where we left off. And where we left off uh, was um, she was about to come on the air and tell us the story of the Frindle. All right, so here we go. Alice came on the screen with a short intro. Then, right there on TV, Mrs. Granger and Nick and Bud Lawrence and Nick's mom we're talking to 20 million people about Frindles. One of those 20 million people was a producer for The Late Show with David Letterman. What's David Letterman? Well, uh, when I was growing up, he was a talk show host, which means he had a TV show where stars and important people in the community and in the world would come on and they would share things about their life and about what they were doing and he would talk to them about it oh he I don't think he's on a late night tv show anymore but he has a couple of little shows now so there was another one of those 20 million people that was interested in this story and he was a staff writer for people magazine there was another person interested they were a writer for the 321 contact magazine for kids Dozens of other writers and producers and marketing people saw that story on the news, and all of them smelled a great story. During the next three weeks, every man, woman, and child in America heard about this funny new word that kids were using instead of the word pen. What pen? A pen, something you write with. Oh, and kids and a the, marker. Right. And kids in Ohio and Iowa and New York and Texas and California started using it too. We have a we have a puzzle. We have a puzzle with all the states inside it. That's right. You heard some of the states, right? They're telling you that it was very popular in America. Well, Bud Lawrence was suddenly it. flooded with orders for anything with the word friendle on it. And he quickly got interested again, but there were complications. Bud's lawyer said, Be right back, Mom. you see that stack of orders there? Trouble. That's what it is. We got a trademark filed, but it's, it's only like an application. The whole country knows that the, the little kid made up the word, and unless you make a deal with his dad, you're going to end up with nothing except maybe a big fat lawsuit. That kid owns that word. So let's break that down a little bit. What they just said was that really Bud Lawrence isn't the one who came up with the word Frindle. It was really Nick who came up with the word Frindle. So Bud Lawrence, the guy that made all those pens, and he wrote Frindle on all the pens. He got it printed on them. If he wants to keep selling all that Frindle stuff, He's got to give Nick's family and Nick the credit that he deserves. And that means he's going to have to talk with Nick's dad and work out an agreement. So somehow they can use the word and Nick's okay with it or something else. When Mr. Allen came home at lunchtime, I'll show you this picture of Nick on the David Letterman show. When Mr. Allen came home from lunchtime, he told, his wife told him that he had to call Bud Lawrence. It's something about the new word. 
she said. This was not good news to Tom Allen. That's Nick's dad. He was sick and tired of all this fuss and being away from the hardware store so much while all this nonsense was happening had put him weeks behind on his paperwork. He'd be lucky now to get his Christmas order in time. Even though he didn't really want anything to do with it, Bud was an old friend. So on the way back to the store, Nick's dad went to Bud Lawrence's office. Tom, good to see you, said Bud. He stood up and walked around his desk to shake hands. Have a seat. Tom sat down uneasily and Bud pulled another chair over. Ever seen Westfield so stirred up about anything in your life? You and Jenny must be pretty proud of that boy of yours. Bud couldn't remember Nick's name. I'm reminding you.